Tony Hans here. Coming back to you guys tonight to do a bottle opening. Um, dropped a video this morning mentioning uh, that I was going to open up an E.H. Taylor small batch. Now, uh, I know for some of you guys, small batch is, is, a, is a great find, and, and I'm included in that. For others, you know, you might have plenty of these sitting on the shelf with some, uh, you know, straight rise and, and uh, uh, single barrels, things like that. And, and, and that's great, you know. Um, to me, I've got three of these sitting up on the shelf. I haven't opened any. I've tried these out, you know, at, at whiskey bars or whatever when, when uh, the opportunity is there. And it's a great pour. Uh, so tonight I wanted to go ahead and open up one of my cans here um, and share that with you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, I have not opened any of these yet. I've got three of them and, um, you know, they're, they're really, I mean, the history of these bottles, each Taylor himself. I mean, you know, to me, that's, that's so unique. And of course the canister, you know, pretty iconic. You, you pretty much pick that one up anywhere, right? So, um, let's see. Take that off there. All right, and let's go ahead and pop the top here. Nice, easy, nice, easy pop. So let's talk about uh, E.H. Taylor small batch here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this, just let it open up a little bit. Um, so the E.H. Taylor small batch, you know, I, I think these probably MSRP for around 60, 65 bucks. Um, you know, I think you're probably gonna be lucky to find it for under a hundred bucks. Um, these are hundred proof bottom bond, you know, pretty, just pretty much straight iconic with, with bourbon and the history of the bourbon. Um, a lot of information here on the back of the bottle talking about E.H. Taylor himself. So again, pretty awesome bottle, pretty awesome history. Um, pretty awesome. Uh, canister let the label tell the truth so that's pretty cool right so anyways uh you know picture there of the original distillery and factory and eh taylor so pretty cool uh, pretty cool canister pretty cool bottle pretty cool history and it's a great drink, right? So, um, I'm happy to have found a few of these and to have them sitting up on the shelf. And uh, tonight, getting to share with you guys. So, um, 100 proof, bottle bond, small batch. It's got a great nose on it. Um, not getting a lot of the you know, blast in my face from the, the alcohol. Uh, picking up some sweeter notes, a little bit of spice there. Just a great pour, great, 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 um, great go-to. Got a nice, nice uh, fuel as it warms, kind of going down, right? Um, good viscosity kind of across, even, eat, nice even flavor. Palette and the nose really kind of, uh, you know, they, they mesh up on this one. They're not saying two different things. Um, you know, like sometimes you get different on the nose than you do on the taste buds, right? Um, this one's just a solid pour in my mind. Uh, one that, that I would definitely pick up just to make sure I've got one on the shelf. Uh, so, you know, if you guys are out there looking for these, 
don't give up the fight. Uh, it's a good, it's a good bottle. It's a good one to have. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, right? I think 60, 65 MSRP. I have not paid that for these. These have been, uh, you know, closer to the hundred, hundred dollar mark. And, uh, Honestly, I think that's what you're going to find them for, uh, unless you, you know, hit hit the distillery distillery on E.H. Taylor Day, um, things like that, right? So, anyways, guys, um, like I said, uh, it's been a long day. Uh, started the day out on on the right foot. Uh, got up around five thirty, I guess. Um, took the kids to school this morning. Went and. Uh, zeroed in a couple of optics on, on, uh, some pistols, uh, at the indoor range here in the Tampa Bay area. Um, I haven't shot in a while, so that was, that was pretty good to kind of get out and do that. Um, you know, life tends to kind of get in the way and, and I got tired of, uh, saying that I haven't shot in a while. So I, I made it happen today, went down to the range and, uh, uh, went through a few boxes of ammo, which was great. And uh, like I said, zeroed in a couple optics. Um, so uh, that was a good day. Um, did, a little, did a little running around doing some more errands and, and uh, finished out the day. Uh, finishing, finishing out the day here with you guys. So like I said, you know, cracked open a bottle of each Taylor. I pulled a Padermo uh, Reserve. This is the Sun Grown 10th Anniversary Cigar. I'm gonna go ahead and sit over here on my couch and enjoy this one. Uh, I did pick up another uh, uh, thing here today that uh, maybe I'll share with you guys in a future video. Um, so if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. So anyways, guys, thanks again for stopping by. Hit that like button for me. Uh, subscribe to the channel, keep these things flowing around, uh, sharing them with your friends. Uh, you know, come join the community. Let me know what you guys want to want to see more of. If it's uh, you know the bourbons. Oh, speaking of, so kind of cool story, right? You guys have seen the uh, Maker's Mark um, cellar aged bottles that have just been released here. So you know, after I after I went shooting, I stopped by a liquor store uh, here in Tampa area and uh, Liquor Depot, and. Uh, st kind of checking it out right they've had really good selections lately and so i kind of walked in and, and there's a guy a couple guys standing there and you know it, it was apparent they were waiting for something and and uh but i kind of moved on and uh we you know i'm checking out the shelves and then i see a van pull up and they start kind of bringing in some bottles right and one of the bottles they got pulled out was a uh, uh, maker's mark cellar aged and uh Man, it was right there in front of me, you know, uh, the guy that was standing there waiting. He, I guess he knew it was coming. So, um, you know, his lucky day, but it was cool to see the bottle floating around and, uh, uh, you know, kind of being that close to it. So, anyways, uh, definitely one of those that I'd like to give it a try um, when the opportunity presents itself. Uh, but as we all know, with the uh, the bourbon game, um, you know, it's it's, you know, partially about the hunt. And uh, we just have to kind of keep pushing uh, until we find our opportunity, right? So anyways, guys, thanks again. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend, long weekend this weekend, Labor Day. And uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks again. Have a good night.